We'll stick in this neck of the woods for this next story. A research team is heading to Daytona Beach Shores, Florida to study a possible shipwreck there. The wreck was exposed last week following beach erosion caused by last year's hurricanes. Fox 35 Orlando's Esther Bauer is live in Daytona Beach Shores this morning. And Esther, this is the second shipwreck unearthed off the coast since those hurricanes. Is that right? That is exactly right. So crews made another discovery back in December, but this most recent discovery actually happened last week on Wednesday and officials are telling us this is the first time in about two decades they're seeing stuff like this wash ashore. Now we've been out here all morning and people are anxious to catch a peek. We've seen numerous groups stopping on their morning walks, going in the water, putting their flashlights down and seeing if they can catch a sneak peek of this ship. Now we do want to yeah. get some aerials up on your screen right now. So Sky Fox was here when it first surfaced last week. This outline appears to be the ship's hole and it's estimated to be about 25 to 30 feet long. We're seeing the remnants of the ship right now because of beach erosion from Hurricanes Ian and Nicole. We've always known there was some, some, some uh, submerged debris there. We've never known what it was. So this is the first time we've actually seen in the past 20 years something unearthed. And Beach Patrol is optimistic. The seaweed coming up on shore this summer and really right now can help replenish the lost sand in the area. Researchers are hoping they can learn more about the history of the ship, how long it's been there, and new details about the discovery when they survey and map the area later today. Now, we have not seen those research crews arrive and start their work quite yet, but they have a hefty job in front of them. Like we said, the tide here right now is a bit too high. We cannot see see any parts of the ship um, peeking through, but we know researchers they're going to try to really map out this area and learn any more information and details about this ship. And as for us, we're just hoping we can sneak a picture of it, but I do want to emphasize it's important to keep your distance. This is still considered a hazardous area, so beach officials are encouraging all of us not to really get in the water. You don't want to get poked or jabbed by something, so keep that in mind. But Daytona Beach is the place to be. Certainly a very cool story. I'm going to have to go out there and check that out for myself, of course, at a safe distance. Uh, Esther Bauer with Fox 35 Orlando reporting for us this morning. Esther, thank you so much. We do appreciate it.